In this video, I'll show you the quickest and easiest way to start using Stable Diffusion Web UI to generate AI art on paper space. No complicated installs or coding required. For a comprehensive guide on the cloud platform and the AI toolbox, make sure you check out my other video. Okay, first step, head over to my AI toolbox website. This toolbox makes setting up AI as simple as clicking buttons. Next, you'll need to grab the configuration file from my GitHub repo. I've crafted it to get you up and running fast. The link is in the video description below. Once you've downloaded the file, go back to the toolbox site and import it. This will automatically configure all the settings we need. Pretty cool right? Now paste in your Paperspace API key. All necessary settings for running Stable Diffusion Web UI are already configured in this file. The only area you need to focus on is the list of models to download. For instance, if you want to add the base model version 1.5, simply paste the Hugging Face download link into the model box. You can also use a Civit AI link. Next, let's add a Laura model to unlock more artistic styles. By default, I've included all commonly used control net models. Keep in mind, these may take some time to download. Feel free to modify this list based on your requirements. Once you've made all your selections, it's time to choose your GPU and start the notebook. Click on start, then sit back and wait for your notebook to launch. Once the notebook URL appear, click on it to open the notebook interface. To check the setup progress, open a terminal, type in this command. If you see the running status of start script is true, then the setup process is still running. To avoid having to manually check the setup progress, refer to my other video on setting up Discord notifications. You'll get a notification automatically when the setup finishes. When SD Web UI is running and start script is completed, open the link next to Cloudflare SD Web UI to open the Web UI interface. The default user password is test and test. Here you can see that all models are already downloaded and ready to be used. Let's switch to this model and generate an image of a girl. Not bad, but let's make use of some embedding and LoRa to improve the image. Nice, but the resolution is too low. Let's see how long it takes to generate a high-resolution image. With RTX 5000, all it takes is 20 seconds to generate a 1024 by 1024 image. You can also use the AI toolbox to add more models on the fly. First, head back to the notebook interface, copy the URL for command server, pastor this URL into the command server URL box in the toolbox. Click on the model download tab and add download link to the box. Here I will add a new VAE model. Click on download to start the process. After the download process is completed, we can go back to the web UI interface and start using the new models. Remember to refresh the model list after each new download task. That's all for today's video. 
If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about AI and technology, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all my latest videos.